What's up, trumpet players? Happy Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Kumatata, whatever you celebrate. In this episode, I'm gonna teach you how to make this sound like this. <laughs> and all I ask for these free gems of wisdom is that you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, because my therapist says it will help my low self-esteem. And if you watch this video all the way to the very end, I'm gonna tell you some really bad Christmas jokes. So totally worth the wait. Well, don't you dare skip or I will deliver you coal this Christmas. All right, so this is the end result that we're looking for here. <laughs> cool, so how do we get this result? So the horse winning from Leroy Anderson's sleigh ride consists of a bunch of extended techniques. So what are extended techniques? Extended techniques are pretty much weird things that we do in trumpet playing that's normally different from conventional trumpet playing. Extended techniques include half elves, <laughs> Tremolos, flutter tonguing, hand plungering, hand plungering and flutter tonguing, and my favorite, fire trucking. Alright, but there's really only two extended techniques that we need to worry about when we're doing the horse weenie in sleigh ride. The first one is half valving. So what is half valving? It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like, my friends. What we're gonna do is we're gonna push all three valves halfway down. And what this does is this allows us to play throughout the entire pitch spectrum of the trumpet. So what I want you to do, my friends, is pause this video, put all three valves down, and just try to gliss up and down like that with all three valves down. Awesome! Did it! You're halfway there! Proud of you! Alright, so next up on top of the half valve glissando, what we're gonna do is add another extended technique, and this is what we call a shake. So it's not like a typical shake, like a traditional like lead trumpet player in a jazz band shaking to create that effect, but it's something similar where we're literally going to shake the trumpet up and down as we're doing this half valve glissando. <laughs> so valve's halfway down, and we're just gonna literally shake the trumpet up and down. Just like that. Cool! So just to summarize where we are so far, half elf glissando, then shake on top of it. Cool! Now we need to talk about our starting pitch. So in Lee Ray Anderson's sleigh ride, it's notated as like starting on an F and then falling downward from that F. However, I found that the horse whinny from sleigh ride sounds so much better if you take it up another partial. So rather than starting on that F, start on the B flat above that instead. So this is what it sounds like starting on an F. This is what it sounds like starting on the B flat. To me, starting on the B flat sounds much better than starting on the F. So one more time to summarize, start on the B flat, half valve and glissando downward, and while you're going down, shake the trumpet. And there my friends, you have a perfect horse whinny. So there's one more option that you can do, and supposedly there's an urban myth in the trumpet world that if you only push the third valve down halfway, as opposed to all three valves down, it will make it sound a little bit louder. So, whether you believe this or not, give it a try and maybe it will work for you. <laughs> oh, it did sound a little bit louder, what do you know? But on the contrary, having all three valves down makes it sound like smeary or that little whinny sound that we're looking for. So the only the third valve itself is louder, yes, but I think it sounds better with the all threes down. So my preference is to put all three down and just project a little bit more, play a little bit louder than you think you need to. <laughs> and often the conductor will encourage the trumpet player who's doing the horse whinny to stand up while they do it. And by all means, stand up, have a good time, have fun. Don't half-ass a horse whinny. No one likes a half-assed horse whinny. You gotta freaking milk that sucker. You gotta go for it. So if God has gifted you with the opportunity to do a horse whinny, freaking go for that opportunity. That is like a trumpet player's dream right there. Screw Mahler 5, screw pictures, screw the Haydn and Hummel. I went to college for trumpet to learn how to do a nice freaking horse whinny. Cool, my friends. We made it to the end of this video. As promised, I got some really bad Christmas jokes for you. What happens to elves when they're naughty? Santa gives them the sack. Why do birds fly south for the winter? Because it would suck to drive that far. How does Christmas Day end? With the letter Y. What kind of car do elves drive? Toy Otis. What do you call a kid who doesn't believe in Santa Claus? A rebel without a clause. What did Mrs. Claus say to Santa Claus when she looked up into the sky? Looks like rain, dear. What do you call buying a piano for the holidays? Christmas Chopin. 
Alright my friends, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, it will help my low self esteem a lot. And next, watch this next video on another free trumpet tutorial. Click the link right there. Do it right now, you got nothing else going on. That's why you're watching this. Click the freaking video, and I'll see you next time.